Hi everybody, good morning. My name is Janina. I'm coming from Argentina. So I came four years ago to Sweden after a lot of time of moving, traveling, I found in Stockholm that stability that I was needing, uh, that stability that we need to find out what we want to do for our lives. Or at least that is what I wanted to know, what I wanted to do. How could I contribute to the society doing my part? A part that I didn't know, I didn't have idea what was it, but, but still I was really looking for it. So yeah, here in Sweden I found a job in a good place as a therapist. I am a massage therapist and yoga teacher. So, so yeah, for a while I've been trying to do my part through this area. And even though I love my job and I really like to help people with these therapies, I always felt like I could do something more. So, so yeah, when I just moved to Stockholm in, two, yeah, in 2019, mm. I realized that the distance in Stockholm were quite long. So, I was thinking, I was actually living here in Shista. Uh -huh. And yeah, in a house that if you check on Google, it's a 10 minute walk from the house to the station. But for me, with my short legs, of course it was like at least 15 minutes or more. So I was thinking, how could I go faster? So then I thought, let's use again the roller skates. So I got my first pair in Sweden of, my, mm. of roller skates and yeah, so I started to go from home to, to the station, jumping into the metro with the skates, mm -hmm. going around the city, supermarkets, everywhere with my skates um, and yeah, of course this was something not so common in that time. Mm -hmm. For the people, I receive like different kind of uh, reactions. Mm. That was super interesting. Like some people look at me like curious. Some others look at me like a weirdo. Mm. <laughs> some others came to me to talk and to ask me, "Hey, where did you get that? How did you learn to skate?" Yeah. So, so yeah, I was thinking maybe I should keep it. Mm -hmm. So I started, oh, sorry, I started to participate in cultural activities, like for example in Hocker and Dog in 2021 and 2022, also in collaboration with a dancer friend, we've been participating of uh, yeah, these cultural activities. And it was super nice. Um, so yeah, I was, I was really, I, I was more into roller skating, but I never really thought to do something like uh, bigger than that. Mm. But yeah, no until, sorry, first I want to talk about my personal journey. So, mm. I started roller skating, freeway skating, when I was a child, when I was six years old, and I've been practicing until my 20s. i always been in different kind of competitions, um, but honestly, I, I got a little bit tired of this thing of competitions to be always have to be into this uh, box of rules of the sport. So I never really thought about to give lessons or something like that. No, until I started to meet, meet more people uh, because of roller skating. So yeah, 
So I started to meet more people on the streets, on the medias, like I found groups of, of groups on Facebook, Instagram, um, yeah. And I realized that this became a very famous activity during the pandemic, especially because of course, mostly of the gyms or train, uh, training groups, they were, they stopped to do it. So the people find, found these videos on YouTube where you can just learn new techniques and mostly of them they were beginners and they were like very excited about this new activity so i was thinking wow these people is like really exciting because i realized that for the, for them roller skating was not just challenging also it was a reason to meet new people different kind of people and that, that was something that I really like it, that I, I found people, really different kind of people, like all ages, different kind of, from different kind of cultures, genders, nationalities. So, and I thought it doesn't exist, exist any place where you can really go and take lessons or meet a group of skaters. So I was like, I really need to do something with this. So then I decided to create Movimiento Skate. So you must be wondering what is Movimiento Skate. So this is a group where the people can join the classes to learn the basic techniques of roller skating but also it's a place where the people can connect with each other, get fun, challenging yourself, overcome fears, limited beliefs, because if we can really do that, we, we can start to create new neural pathways. So these are gonna allow us to develop new skills. So think about if we can do that with roller skate, roller skating, why not to apply this on different kind of areas of our life? So coming back to my personal journey in figure skating. As I said at the beginning, well, my first years of figure skating, I was very little. I was competing, competing in single competitions. And that was super nice, but also it was quite tough. And at the end for me, it was boring. So, when I was 13, I was almost to retire from figure skating. But thanks to my best friend in Argentina, uh, she invited me to join to this group of uh, show group in figure skating. So in figure skating, we have different styles, single uh, couples and show groups. So basically what we do is uh, we create a choreography. I mean, we have, a, of course, a coach who is in charge of the choreography, and then we compete with other groups with these choreographies. So these were uh, my best years in figure skating because to, of course, first, because not all the pressure was just on me. We were a team where we were meeting every week and getting fun, laughing, joking. But also, I got so much learning about this um, responsibility, for example, because I w if I was missing a 
class at training, my place in the choreography was missing. So that means that the choreography would be affected. Also, I learned about discipline. So even though we were laughing and joking all the time, when we have to be concentrated, we do it. So there was no time to get distracted because again, that would affect the choreography. Also, we were always supporting each other. The supporting is so important to have to give to a person confidence. If you feel confident, you can really develop your own potential. And I think that all of us, we have our own potential. Just try to give to someone that you love, uh, your, maybe your child or some close friend, supporting confidence. And this person is gonna be able to develop their own potential to the top. And I think that is something super nice that all of us, we can do. So, why I think that uh, Movimiento Skate is a good uh, activity for Sweden, for Stockholm, for in Sweden in general. Uh, I think it's, here it's very necessary because the winter is too long. So during the winter, we tend to get isolated from the people. I mean, I know because I experienced it myself and it's not nice. We, we need connections. And, and with this kind of activity, you can find that. If you look at the chemistry of the body, our brain, our brain produces different chemistry, chemicals, sorry. Serotonin, dopamine, and oxytocin. This last one is produced by connections. So when we feel that we are part of community of a group, when we feel that we have real connections with the people around us, our brain produce this chemical. So then we feel better. So I would say that it's never too late to learn something new because I think that the life is about that, to always try new things, take mistakes, try again. This is the way how we really grow to become better person, better people. Um, so yeah, if you feel that you are interested in of learning something new, like roller skating, you can contact me through Facebook or Instagram with the name Movimiento Skate. And I would say that at the beginning it was a little bit difficult to the people get to know me and especially to find a place where to give lessons because it's, it's not so easy to find like a big place with, with a good floor to, to skate. But now I started to meet more people, uh, groups, like for example now I'm working in collaboration with Stockholm Quads. So, you know, it became easier when you, when you have more content, more people uh, that is more into roller skating. So, I think that um, I have learned so much about roller skating. So today my idea is to share this knowledge that roller skating gave me with the community. So to give, yeah, my part to, to the society. Thank you so much.
for listening today. <laughs> and I hope to see you in some broader skating class. <laughs> Thank you. Roller skating? How did you start? I mean, how? Well, uh, I think my parents brought me to uh, my first roller skate class uh, mm -hmm. because my cousin was uh, uh, training. Oh. We were the same age. Yeah. And you know that, that age that, I don't know, she was like kind of like my sister. Mm -hmm. So we were doing the same things all the time like if she's going to i don't know to swimming yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's take the other one yeah so it was something like that and in argentina it's a quite common uh, sport um, here in sweden is it's not uh, it's more ice skating but of course it's, it's normal because there are rings ice of ice rings for that in argentina we don't have that so, and also, I think that it's because um, it's, it's also very common in Italy and Spain. Mm -hmm. And we have a lot of the, the Italian and Spanish culture. Mm -hmm. so, so I think that that's why it's very common also in Argentina. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, you didn't imagine, I didn't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the best skaters in figure skating are from Italy, Spain, and Argentina. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, but it's something that is common for us. You go every neighborhood, they have their own sport club where you can go and train, yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, just a few of skaters, they, I mean, usually you do it until you're, until you're a teenager and then you stop. But yeah, I think that we show group is is nicer because it's it's not so much pressure, it's not so so much technique. It's more about other things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I remember I was I started when I was thirteen, and I some of my parent my girls in the group they were like I don't know maybe twenty twenty five so almost thirty. They were all kind of ages. Yeah. Mm. The roller skating, yeah, is patin artistico. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's quite different. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. When when I think of roller skates, I think of skates that have four wheels in a row like this. Mm. Yeah. What? Is it a different uh, purpose or style? Is it just how? Yeah, so I give lessons for quads, uh, like with four wheels, because that is what I have learned. Um, it's quite similar to ice skating or inline skates, mm -hmm. but the techniques are different. Mm -hmm. Because, I don't know, for example, if I'm going to do a spinning, and I know where to transfer my, my weight, in which wheel. When it's in line, it's like, it's different. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, maybe mm -hmm. it's, you can learn if you know ice skating. It's not going to be so difficult to learn with quads. But I don't know if it's for a special reason. I know that mm -hmm. some techniques could be more easier to, to learn with four wheels than in line. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and something that, that also now I'm thinking, um, because now it's, it's getting more popular. Uh, actually, there is a big festival in Barcelona where skaters from everywhere come. Mm -hmm. and, and for example, in Denmark, they have a, every Friday a communal uh, skating um, where the, all the people go out to the street and skate together. I mean, and all different kind of skate, skates, mm -hmm. not just uh, quads, also mm -hmm. inlines. Um, and I think that that is something super cool that 
I would like to, I don't know, try to invite it here in Stockholm mm -hmm. because Stockholm is a bigger city with more people, so why not? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think like if we if we come back to like it's very interesting like what we're speaking about and mm -hmm. if we come to the theme also right when we talk about like acceptance yeah like, sometimes like when all of us like come to different cities or something we find a place for uh, for ourselves to be accepted uh, mm -hmm. by society or like doing something that we love mm -hmm. it could be like has uh, like how creative mornings is for example mm -hmm. we're trying to find like a community that mm -hmm. you know like accept who we are like all yeah. this diversity and like i think it is very similar with mo um, your course or your uh, initiative as well where you you found a hobby like and you have a community and you're building it up um mm. i think that is like uh, in line with the, the way we talk about like acceptance it is very um inspiring to see how how this like influences a mm. city uh for example and changes like it's a lot of question about justice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, totally agree. I mean, I think that um, that is something that I really also love about this activity that really uh, invite to different kind of people. It's like, for example, if you see in this picture, I love this picture because here you can see people from everywhere, like. Here we have a Swedish, here from Netherlands, well me, a uh, Latin guy, I think he was from Venezuela. Uh, he was, he is from Africa, Australia. So, I mean, really diversity, yeah, like, uh, all the three together. Yes, so, so I want of this uh, group of Movimiento Skate to be a really inclusive uh, group where all kind of people mm -hmm. is accepted um, and safe. Because I've been, I went to places um, here in the city, I don't know, to try classes of dancing or yeah. other kind of things. And I, I felt, I didn't feel so comfortable, like, um, Many times I've, I have this feeling of uh, uh, competition mm -hmm. and, and I, I don't want that. I want, I want to the people feel safe, like really relaxed. Because if you feel safe, you can really develop more skills. You don't have this fear that we sh usually block us to, mm -hmm. to try new things. So yeah. That is the idea to be an inclusive group. Mm. Mm. Even in the beginning, when you mentioned you were uh, roller skating to the metro yes. station, and then you were yeah, I should totally do this. <laughs> I, I'm a bit of a I, should, oh, I, I should do this. <laughs> yeah, it sounds so easy. Like of course, and everything comes quicker. But now it's also with e scooters. Yeah, and I think that would be the first thought for people who would feel like I want to get quick at the station. Yeah, I have those uh, ones. Uh, I had I had it for one month from someone who borrowed to me, yeah. and I realized that I felt so heavy because I wasn't walking at all. No. I mean, I was just going from mm -hmm. from home with this to the metro, and, and then I was I don't know. I felt yeah. like. But also heavy because you have this thing with you that you can't just drop. Also, yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, the roller skate is really good for training for your body. It's can you can really build a strength a muscle, a, especially in your legs, but also the whole body. Yeah. Um, yeah. And recently, I have a not so nice experience with a friend. Uh, she she had an accident in one of the classes because she didn't have also any protection and she was a beginner. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it was, everything was wrong that day, mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, she wrote her wrist. Mm -hmm. um, and I was thinking, wow, uh, I remember she, w she was coming, like she came late, she was stressed, she wasn't in, in her best moment. 
she, she, her job and a lot of things going on. And then she came and this happened. Mm -hmm. And then I was thinking, wow, it's so important to, to really, when you come to, to a place, like really calm down, be aware of what you're doing, because then you can have much more control of your body. Mm -hmm. And I'm falling down all the time. I mean, that is something that you cannot avoid. So if you feel scared about roller skating, you have to know that you're gonna fall down. But if you have protections, it's okay, because then you're gonna learn how to fall. And then the fallings are not gonna be so hard. Yeah. You want to do yeah, it more. Yeah. You're, you're so scared, mm -hmm. but you want to do it. Yeah. So it's really fun to try skating. Yeah. And the, yeah. And the best thing is that I can, now I have like uh, students from all ages. Like last Wednesday, the, it was mostly women, like in their 40, 50, more or less. Yeah. And, and they yeah. got so. I mean, I could see the progress on them, and I was like so happy, like, mm -hmm. wow, there is no age ages to, to learn something new. It's, it's so cool. Yeah. So, yeah. Mm. It's very really inspiring of the people, so you ain't so. <laughs> Thank you very much to you guys for this space, um, the idea is to, yeah, to find more people and yeah to try something different yeah of course definitely <laughs> thank you very much thank you mm -hmm.